Okay, so I decided that I'm going to be using um, the lithium grease because I looked up online and they said that, uh, ow, uh, you can use um, petroleum jelly or Vaseline. So uh, this is actually better than that. So I'm just gonna put a little bit, just just a, a hair of it, just just enough for it to help to slide in there. Um, I'm gonna put a little lithium grease on the drive shaft thing that goes into the into the hole. Let's get this fucking job done. So that goes in here, just like that. And uh-oh, drive shaft's too short. Fuck. Oh well. And that's not gonna fall off, so I'm just gonna put the nut in the back here. Um, now, you kinda have to push this forward. And again, I can't do it with one hand. This nut has to come forward enough to kind of lock in place because, uh, let me redo this. Because I'm stupid, I suck at this. Because there's little notches, little, little flat spots for that nut to sit on. And then you should just be able to tighten it down. But like everything else, you probably don't want to tighten them super tight. Whoa, that came out a lot. Yeah, you don't want to tighten them super tight until you get them all in. So, whoa, okay. Just drop shit on my camera. That's a great, great idea. So I'm assuming once you get two of these on, the rest should be pretty easy. Yeah, so I'm I'm frustrated now. I'm I'm getting to that point where I'm really starting to get frustrated. I want this job to be done. So if you want to come over and do it for me, that'd be okay too. I would uh, I'd be okay with that, even though I want to do this all myself. I sometimes have to think that I can't. It's not that I can't, it's that I don't want to anymore. This was so much easier putting, taking off. All right, I just want to show you real quickly. These are the little notches in there. And a nut will go up against it so that it, the nut can't turn once you're, once you're threaded. Now getting it threaded is sometimes difficult. You're driving me nuts. Dude, seriously, I've had it. I don't want to do it anymore. See, the, the problem is this fucking universal joint. And that's really how a drive shaft works, so I'm not complaining that that's there. I'm just complaining that, um, it makes this fucking impossible to, to put on. I do think, I feel like I'm cross-threading. I'm not, but it feels like I am. Warranty void if removed. So, I'll make sure I don't do that. Does that mean warranty void if I remove the sticker or if I remove the drive shaft? Then there's something to be said for just forcing it, I suppose. Oh my god, my arms are so fucking tired. I'm not in good shape. I finally got it, and um, you basically have to jam the nut into there, and then kind of bend the, the screw kind of to, to mate it, and it will feel like you're cross-threading, um, and you might actually be cross-threading, because you don't really know until you're halfway through. Uh, but I got lucky and none of them cross-threaded, However, it feels like they, they are going to cross thread, and it's all because of that stupid fucking notch on the back there that keeps the nut from spinning. Now, what's the better way to do that? Just fucking don't put that notch there so I can get a wrench on this, and then I could, I could do that. You don't have to do that for me, Mazda. Anyway, so that's done. Okay, I literally can't be under the car anymore right now. I've just had it. Um, the bolts are in the drive shaft. Now I'm going to just put this back together in here, and uh, I forget how to do that so much, but uh, I guess this just goes on here. Yep, this is me, super not caring anymore. It's a good place to be in any kind of major car repair, is the I don't give a fuck. Um,
perfect. That's all I can do out here. Now I have to go back under the car. <laughs> Down pipe time. There, done. Wow, this is really bullshit. I can't, I, I just, I'm out, of, I'm out of energy. I'm out of everything. I'm sorry this video is so negative. There's nothing else I can do. Okay, all I have to left is to do is uh, put the gear oil in and then start it up and see if it actually works. All right, this is the first, first startup. See if it explodes right away or it takes a while to explode. Hey jerks, so this is day three and I'm uh, feeling a little bummed. Yesterday we finished up the reassembly of everything and dropped the car. I thought I was just going to drive away and be happy and of course that is not what happened. The clutch system was not getting any pressure so we couldn't bleed the clutch system. Um, and uh, Angel was over here last night and we spent about an hour trying to uh maybe more than an hour maybe an hour and a half trying to bleed the system anyway it uh then occurred to me that i had heard that when people are doing a clutch job a lot of times they replace the master and the slave cylinder so that's what we're going to do today i went to my o'reilly's and believe it or not my local store had the master and the slave for a Miata. So I also got a bunch of brake fluid because I'm always running out of that shit. Um, and we've already done a replacement of these things. Let me go over them super, super fast. All you have to do is remove this hard line. What is that? Get that. The car's falling apart. Uh, just remove this hard line and then there's two bolts and that comes out of there for a replacement. And then for the slave cylinder, which is through the wheel here, um, I've already kind of, um, I've removed the hard line already from that. You can see it kind of floating out there in the middle of nowhere. And then it's just those two bolts right there. And that's it. We'll tend to loosen up this line. Uh, I am going to put some, um, paper towels underneath it because brake fluid, well, not that I really care, but brake fluid is not good for paint. Okay, hard line is out. There's twelves. We did this for Angel's car not too long ago. Oh, good, I got brake fluid on my hand. And these are nuts. There are actually studs coming off out of the um, out of the out of the firewall. See nut. Okay, that's the other nut. And then this literally pulls right off. That's it. Okay, thanks again to Greg Peters at the Car Passion channel. He um, showed me very, very quickly uh, how you do this. What you do is you, um, there's a piston inside of this and that's what the clutch pedal actually pushes. So um, you put a um, screwdriver in there and you can actually push it in and out. Um, so what that does is you can actually put your thumb here on the, on the um, supply line to the slave cylinder and you can feel when you push in there's uh, there's pressure that's coming out of it. So here's what we're gonna do to prepare this for putting uh, in, for installation. You're going to take hi. <laughs> you're going to take uh, your fluid and put about half half full of fluid in here, and that's really just arbitrary. You can put some, a lot, doesn't matter. You, the reason why you don't want to put too much in is because um, you don't want it to spill because you're shaking and stuff like that. So what you're doing is you're going to, right, it's not leaking or anything, you're going to press this in, put your thumb over the hole, and then let go of that. What it's doing is it's pulling fluid from here into the, into the system to here, so you're trying to get all the air out of there. You push in again, whoops, squirts out of there. Okay, so that's it. I'm done, 
and now I've got fluid on my fingers, which is, you know, what you definitely want. This seems like a problem. I'm going to put the, the hard line on it, so hopefully it'll stop leaking. All right, brake fluid on the floor is good. Uh, bare feet, that's good too. All right, master cylinder's in. What the hell? Why? Why light now? Anyway, uh, master cylinder's in. Uh, this I need to make sure is super tight. This right here. That's tight. Okay, let's move on to the slave. All right, the old shitty slave is out from that hole right in there. And here is the brand new, super awesome, going to solve all my problems, um, new one. Uh, this is the bleeder valve. I want to make sure that I'm going to be able to open it. Let's see if I have it. Hey, how you doing? Hi. All right, so Angel is here, and he just helped me bleed the clutch, and God damn it, if it didn't work right away, so... Maybe that was the magic thing. You have to replace these stupid $20 parts every time you replace your clutch. Um, excellent. So, just gonna pull that off, tighten everything up, and then uh, we're gonna we're gonna drive. Oh shit! It's so weird the engagement point on that one and then mine. Cause mine, I think, still with the the clutch pedal being the way it is, it engages so early. Epilogue. We did it! Ta -da! Um, okay, so the clutch grabs low. I had to adjust the clutch engagement uh, point on the, on the pedal, and I could stand to even go further with it because it engages all the way on the floor. And when it does grab, it grabs fast. So I stalled it the first six times I tried getting out of first uh, or into, into reverse. Uh, I let Angel drive it, and he stalled it like four times. Um, it's just, it grabs fast. So uh, you have to give it a little gas before uh, taking off. Look at that. We did a clutch job on a Miata, and I feel pretty good about it. Uh, it, was, it was a little bit of a challenge, though, because, I mean, I thought I was going to have a very bad day if this uh, Clutch Master and Slave thing didn't work out. But as soon as I installed it, as soon as we pushed the pedal, uh, things were happening. It, we had, we had uh, pressures that we didn't have before. So I don't know what happened with the old Master and Slave, but I guess I'm going to be one of those people that says if you, if you change your clutch in your, in your Miata, you might as well just buy the parts to do the, the Master and the Slave. Uh, because if you haven't replaced them in the last year, you know, it's, it's worth doing again. And, and the parts are really only about 40 bucks. So that's it guys. Um, thank you so much for watching this little series. Uh, I don't know if this is, uh, the end of part two or part three. It might be the end of part th this. I think this is just going to be a part three because the problems we ran into yesterday, I'm going to end that on part two. Anyway, so, um, thanks for watching. Don't forget again, uh, it's good egg Miata for my Instagram, and um, other than that, thanks again for all your support, all the new subscribers, uh, up over 1,300 now, I think. Anyway, uh, until next time, I'm not sure what we're doing next with that car, but it should probably be something dumb. Bye.